MLB 23 is upon us. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything that you want to do in Diamond Dynasty to set yourself up early on to give yourself the best chance to win and really kind of go through everything that you want to attack early on because let's be honest, in MLB The Show 23, it is overwhelming at the start of the game. There is so much to do, so much content with the new seasons format and all the new 99s at launch of the game. So by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what you need to do once you fire it up for the first time. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So I think the first thing I want to address is that it is going to depend on the type of player you are. All right. Assuming you're watching this, you at least have maybe some understanding of MLB The Show. Maybe you're watching this and you've come over from the NHL content side of things. If you're watching my channel, I appreciate that if you are. Uh, and you're just, you're not looking to spend money. You don't know what you're going to do. Uh, and then there's the type of player that just wants to play ranked, get online. How do you build the best team quick so that you can take on online players because you're pretty good at the game? All right. So again, I want to address that, that there is multiple ways. It's all going to depend on, you know, what you're going to do. Are you going to spend a ton of money to work on the live series collection? Are you completely no money spent. It's all going to depend on that. So let's start first with the type of player like myself. This year, I am completely no money spent. And as you can see, I've got a full team of diamonds already, and I've put about six hours total into the game. I've gone through everything here, and I'm going to walk you through what I think you should do if you're no money spent and you're looking on, you're looking to build a team quickly. Here is my strategy when it comes to no money spent in MLB The Show 23. You want to work on building your squad in all the offline modes. I honestly won't touch rank seasons. And for anyone that doesn't know what rank seasons is, rank seasons is essentially the 1v1 or 2v2 or 3v3, depending on co-op. And I'll touch on those in a future video. But essentially, this is you versus an opponent's online play. And as you can see here, you'll get a ton of good rewards. The program is phenomenal. At the end of it, you're going to get a shot at some of the best players. And again, you can see these 399s for the rank seasons program you've got Gunnar Henderson obviously a fantastic card Lou Gehrig looks incredible as well and then you've also got Eric Gagne so again this is for the rank series program but I'm not going to touch this because of all the players that are in this especially early on you're going to go up against guys that spend you know 2k in the game they've got the live series collection on all the new top end 99s and they're all very good at the game I'm going to avoid that for about a week or two while I build up my team and attack all of the offline content because there is so much and give myself a very good team and a better shot at winning when I play rank. So with that being said, you fire up the game for the first time. Here is what you want to do. Go over to programs, go over to other programs, and where you want to spend your majority of your time early on is the World Baseball Classic. There is one other program in terms of the starter program. The rewards for this, if you were to complete it all the way through, will give you the 88 Sammy Sosa, which is an okay card. As well, at the end, you can get the 87 All-Star Justin Verlander. The value in these is more for the um, the sets and things like that later on in the game. And it's a nice way to learn how to play and, and attack programs and everything like that. But honestly, you don't really need to put a focus on this because the rewards aren't all that great. The World Baseball Classic will give you a full team of high 90 diamonds by just playing the game. So, you get into the World Baseball Classic, and what you want to do first is complete all all of the moments here. Now, moments, guys, are just a offline specific moment. So for this one, uh, it's get on base two times with Ruben Tejada. It's on veteran difficulty, and it, it's very quick. Once you finish it, you move on to the next one. Again, for any of my NHL players out there, this is pain. This is not an offline challenge where you have to play the full game before it actually counts. You can just get it done and quickly move on. There is a lot of them, but what this will do is A, get you a little more acclimated to the game. It's very easy. It doesn't require you to have a good team, and it is going to give you two program points points. You see the little two right above my head here for each one completed. Now, if you complete all of them, you're going to get about 70 program points and that's just from doing the moments. Okay. And what you'll see here is that you are going to get almost all of these 90 overall diamonds. And I'm going to explain why that's important. Not only are they diamond cards like this Nelson Cruz. I actually really enjoy Nelson Cruz's swing is very good. I also love Nelson Cruz as a player and he's a designated hitter. So you can just throw him in the DH spot. Great. There's also some good pitchers in here as well so again after about after you've had all the moments done okay you've got 
this, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And you get two for each pack, okay? So th obviously you're gonna have a, a good start here. This took me about two hours uh, to complete all of the moments, and I was just kind of, you know, not paying attention. But you'll go through the first round moments, the quarterfinal moments, semifinal moments, and then championship moments. Once you've done all that, you've got a pretty good squad for essentially two and a couple hours into the game. But it's important to remember that the next thing that that's going to allow you to do is missions. All right, so missions work a little bit differently. You have to get experience points with each of the players that you just unlocked. So you'll see here, PXP with World Baseball Classic Nikki Lopez. You have to get 200 parallel XP with this card specifically. Now, you can do this a number of different ways. One is playing ranked. Two is playing Battle Royale. Events, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Play versus the CPU. Yes, you can just literally go against the CPU and grind that out. Mini Seasons and Conquest. Conquest is what I want to put a focus on because once you have a full Whole lineup of these cards you can go into the world baseball classic conquest and this is essentially offline entirely and you can get experience points while completing another piece of offline content. So if you hit triangle in the menu here, you'll see all that you'll complete by doing all of this. And I will have a video that will walk you through the easiest way to beat Conquest. It's pretty simple. It's a lot like Risk. But that being said, all you've got to do is beat all of the strongholds. And the stronghold is each tile with an icon or a team. So this would be the San Francisco Giants stronghold. You've got to beat them in a three inning game. And the more reinforcements you have when you attack that stronghold the easier difficulty you can play against them so i would recommend playing on veteran not rookie i think rookie is too easy and they never hit the plate and it will really mess up your timing once you start playing more and more of the game i would go veteran it's very easy and what you'll do is when you complete these strongholds because you're playing in game you will get the parallel xp that you need to complete the missions for the world baseball classic program you see how it kind of snowballs into completing these things now once you've done this entire um this entire conquest you'll get a ball and as a habit pack for anyone that does not know these are kind of juice packs you'll get a guaranteed gold card with a higher rate to pull a diamond you also get a diamond duos pack the good thing about this pack is that you have a shot at pulling the 99 Cattell Marte which is fantastic and then you also get some other packs there's hidden things in here as well so by completing the whole conquest map you will get a ton of different packs and things as well as getting these missions done all right so as you can see down here the world baseball classic conquest will give you 30 parallel or sorry 30 program points again you can see it right above my head here bad it's opposite uh so with the 70 that you got from all of the moments now you're looking at 100 okay so you're looking at 100 here and at 100 you get a 90 well actually sorry at 80 you get a 95 overall choice pack and again you're choosing two of these players all right so once you get up a little bit higher in the program you will eventually get all of them and it's the same thing as the 90 so now you've got a ton of 95 overall players and again each of them will have missions that you are going to need to complete. Again, the, the uh, pitchers will require 600 parallel XP. It's very easy for pitchers. Hitters will require 200. And again, you're just going through, and as you can see on my list here, I've completed a lot of them by just doing the World Baseball Classic Conquest. That's it. Now, currently, I'm at 175 program points, and again, you can see I've got this Kensuke Kondo, 97 overall, as well as this Yoshinobu Yamamoto, who is a great starting pitcher. And again, you just see the insane amount of content you can get for free very quickly i'm also getting a bunch of show packs everything like that and the reward at the end is well the 97 randy rosarana who's very good but it's this all around the world pack you will get a shot at one of these 99s okay you won't uh you won't get a guaranteed shot at it you're going to at least get one of these if you don't get the rare round but if you get the rare round you're looking at getting this mike trout card and mike trout swing is always fantastic and this could be your center fielder for the next two months uh, which is a huge bonus if you can get that card Regardless, even if you can't, you're going to get Taiwan Walker as well as a closer Shohei Otani. Uh, and then obviously Randy Rosarena. So if you just complete the World Baseball Classic program, your team is already off and running, okay? The last thing I want to touch on here is the World Cl Baseball Classic Showdown, all right? Showdowns are a little bit more difficult, uh, especially for brand new players. They can be frustrating, um, but essentially what you're going to do is you are going to draft a team, all right, so uh, again, it, it, it's going to be all diamonds. You want to choose hitters, never pitchers. All right, so just make sure of that. We'll go you on Moncada, but really you can just choose the best ones. I mean, you can see their rankings right here. If you hit triangle on it, you'll be able to pull up their uh, their um, attributes as well. 
But what that will allow you to do is I got the 99 Trey Turner, which is one of the best cards in the game here, uh, 99 Miguel Cabrera. And then as, as you go down here, you'll just fill in your roster. Again, this doesn't really matter. The uh, Real quick, I want to touch on these. So these are the perks, all right? Um, there's a couple things to remember that uh, you are always losing in showdown. So when there's somewhere, it's like exit velocity boost while ahead in the counts. Um, so these ones are kind of a bad example. But vision bonus in two strike counts, if you're, um, I would take that one because you'll be in two straight counts a lot especially if you're not if you're not patient uh but then a slight exit velocity hero time is very good slight exit velocity boost in the seventh inning or later you're always um in in a little bit later on uh, in the game especially the last showdown the last showdown where you've got to get um a certain amount of runs before you get 20 outs you are in the ninth inning so that will always be activated as will rally time exit velocity boost while losing and with two outs um, you want to have something like that activated as well. And the better versions are going to help you out there. Okay. Uh, the one thing, another thing to remember is that because you're not playing in this one specifically, you're not playing defense. Uh, you can put a out of position player at catcher. Um, you don't have to have someone in there that is a catcher because you really won't need him. You're not going to, you're not going to be catching. So, um, just something to uh, keep in mind here. It is a little bit more difficult, but every time you complete one of these, if you fail the challenge, so in this elimination showdown, take on Dominican Republic pitcher Christian Javier enter the game tied and take the lead before 10 outs if you don't do that you will fail and you'll have to restart okay but if you win you will get a couple things you'll get one a final showdown run you see in the bottom left here as you work towards the end of the final showdown, if you just skip all the way to the end, you have to get 15 runs before you make 20 outs. Obviously, that's pretty difficult for a, a lot of the newer players and even kind of the experienced ones. Showdowns are usually kind of tough. Uh, but for every one of these that you do, you're going to get a final showdown run. And as you see down near the end, you'll get two final showdown runs. So every one you do and you complete, you will actually make it a lot easier on yourself. You'll also get a diamond perk as well as a diamond batter. So now your lineup gets better. Okay, so I would try a couple times at this after you've done the conquest because this will really help you um, get get the program done and give you a kind of a, a shortcut here because you're getting 25 program rewards points towards the World Baseball Classic program and obviously that's just you know uh, a huge bonus to you. Now obviously once you've completed the World Baseball Classic showdown conquest all of the moments and missions uh, the missions will really get you close to the end. You can also do the World Baseball Classic events all right so for every win in the events mode, you will get two program points. If you are a good online player, so if you are someone that has played the game before, you can probably go ahead and do events. I love playing online. I really don't like offline play in any game. MLB is probably the best offline gameplay. However, I'm just someone who's very competitive. I want to play online. So once you've gotten uh, at least where I am in my program, so pretty far in, again, once you've completed the moments, uh, the the um, conquest as well as the showdown, you've got a decent team. You can go into events right here in online, all right? And how events work is there's very specific teams um, and player cards that you can get. So the rules for this one, you can see it in the top left. Any awards, charisma, live series, milestone, signature, and World Baseball Classic cards on your team. That's it. So if you have done the World Baseball Classic program, you've got a lot of World Baseball Classic cards in your lineup. And essentially, it's just cumulative. You're trying to get as many wins as possible. Every time you lose twice, you will restart your run. And why this is important is because if you look at 15 wins, you'll get this 95 Julio Urias. Decent card, nothing wrong with it here, but... Remember how at the beginning of uh, this video I talked about, it's all going to depend on the goals of what you're trying to do at MLB The Show. If you want to complete the live series collection, and that is by collecting every card, every base card, which is a very expensive endeavor, selling these cards is the best thing that you can do because they don't go into the live series collection. And if you can get them quickly, they usually go up in price. However, you can turn these into other high-end cards as the game goes along. But if your goal is to complete the live series collection, doing these events and a Immediately selling these cards is usually your best bet because you can then work towards getting the live series collection done. So at 20 wins, you will get this 97 Pete Alonso, who is a very, very good card. But again, you've gotten some really good, the 95 Paul Goldschmidt's very good as well. So you can sell this for 25,000 subs. And then at 25 wins, you'll get this Mookie Betts, an extremely good card. You can see right now, 
you know, you, you can sell them for like 50,000 stubs. This will go down after launch of the game uh, because more and more people will acquire it and it will really hammer down in price. Uh, but then again, you can keep going. This is all going to depend on your skill level. If you play 10 games and you haven't won one, I would move on and go back to offline stuff. But if you're a decent player and you're winning probably one every two games, go ahead and grind this out and get this done. And then again, it's going to depend on your goals of the series. Are you trying to build the best team possible for rank seasons? Use these cards. If you're just trying to complete the live series collection, completely no money spent, 100% I would sell these um, and again that's just getting you some more stubs now once you're done the world baseball classic conquest there are many other conquests that you can see here so there's the nation of baseball which is the big map this is going to take you hours guys regardless of how good of a player you are I'll have a video that will go over the best way to complete this but you will get so much stuff out of this that it's just a phenomenal investment especially when you're completing missions remember like I said guys you have to get XP with all all of these World Baseball Classic cards, and I haven't even touched on Affinity yet. So if you have a ton of these World Baseball Classic cards in your lineup, you're working towards two things at once. The Nations of Baseball Conquest done, as well as the World Baseball Classic program. And again, as you can see here, completing or capturing the entire NL West in those strongholds, you'll get this 87 Steve Finley, and you can use these in other sets, and I'll talk about that in a future video when it comes to collections. You really don't need to worry about all of that. But then down at the end, you'll see that if you complete the entire Conquest you will get this 92 Roberto Clemente who's got almost maxed contact which is great he's also a core card so you can use him throughout the entire year set one cards guys at the top left of each card if it says set one you can only use those cards from season one and season two once we get to season three you can't use set one cards anymore so that's something to keep in mind so like i mentioned what i would do is i would start working towards other conquests so that you can work towards the missions what i'm starting to do after this is starting to take on the team affinity conquest maps because these will help you work towards the team affinity program so now let's get into that once you've completed and started working towards the world baseball classic and you're almost all set with that team affinity is what's up next and team affinity is again another great way for you to earn cards in this game towards your team so this is the american league east and every single affinity division will work the same so after twenty thousand team affinity xp you can see that you can make a choice pack from any of these captains okay so you can go with the 92 adley rushman you could go with my guy chris sale it doesn't really matter any of these but as you go along you'll see these charisma players so this is another type of pack and type of card and you will get great players out of this i mean giancarlo stanton is a fun fantastic fielder card especially early on he's a little bit worse for competitive play once you get into the hall of fame and legend but that's a whole other thing you don't need to worry about that and that's only in ranked really um so this is another thing what i would start grinding and as you can see here much like the world baseball classic there is a lot of stuff you can do once you complete the conquest you'll see there that's twenty five thousand um team affinity xp so if you just go up and look, if you just completed that team affinity, you'll get the captain's card and you're, you know, halfway, uh, a little bit under halfway to getting the first charisma pack, right? And they come quite quickly once you've gotten that first one and you can see all the other packs and, and choices that you can get like there's a ball and is a habit pack right here um, from completing these now once you've got the team affinity conquest maps done and the world baseball classic missions done um, you're getting these cards early on in this uh, in this program so if you go and look um, at early on so you're getting 5,000 right you'll be able to select um, five of these you'll get a ton of them right and as you can see go to team build uh sorry uh henchman missions and all of these have the same thing where you've got to get xp with them and you will then get rewards that will work towards the program so it's the same kind of thing you want to be doing multiple things at the same time so while you're completing the conquest maps get these missions done as well and then you're just doubling down on everything that you're doing it's all about not wasting time and making and maximizing the time that you're putting into the game next up let's talk about collections real quick all right so now after all that you've done you've gotten a lot of packs you probably opened up a lot of stuff and you've got a lot of fodder just like and you don't know what to do with it all right in collections the first thing i would do is complete some of these starter collections all right so they're very very easy to complete uh again you can hit square and go auto select all right and these are just you know these are just uniforms it's more just teaching you how to do sets so hit square and then auto select and then you can lock it in by hitting start and you'll just get a bunch of stubs here again it's just kind of teaching you how to do it there's another one for common contact or common players again same kind of thing just go ahead and complete all of these now the live series is where uh, a lot of your focus is going to be myself my entire goal is to complete the live series collection completely no money spent now again if you are brand new to the game you can see here's the boston red sox you've got to collect every single 
single Boston Red Sox player, all right? And if you do that, you will get this 90 or this 87 Johnny Damon Captain Series card. Love my boy Johnny Damon, even though he's kind of a traitor, um, which is, again, the Captain Series cards we'll go over in a future video. But what you do with that Johnny Damon is if you go up here to the AL East, you can see that the Johnny Damon goes in here. You collect the other teams in the AL East, so you get the complete the Yankees, and you can see that he's higher rated because it costs more to get the Yankees done than it does the Red Sox because the Yankees are better. Pain. Uh, but then if you complete all five of those and you lock them in, you will get this, this 94 Mickey Mantle card. Now, the Mickey Mantle card, what do you do with that? If you go to the American League, these big blue ones here, you can see here's Mickey Mantle right here. If you complete the other divisions, getting the 96 Billy Wagner as well as the 92 Joe Maurer, you will get the 99 Mark McGuire. And notice how it says core card in the top left. Core cards you can use every single season in this game throughout the entire year. That's why the live series is so good. It is going to cost you a lot of real money, about 1600 to 2000 real life dollars if you want to just straight up buy the collection. Obviously, we're not going to do that. But it is going to take you a very long time. So what I would do, guys, is go through, just auto-select, and, and go through all of them and, and you know make sure that you've got these done. Now, the other ones that I would focus on, here is how I do it. I save up all of my stubs, and I go and buy the most expensive cards first. So if you look at Shohei, he's going for 189 Mike Trout is going for 319 Mike Trout is always the most expensive, usually. I save up and get Mike Trout's card done, and then I go and get Shohei done. Very, very expensive cards, but once you've done that, you want to focus on teams and then divisions and then the league. Don't split up and start going for the National League while you're working on the American League. I would focus on one and get the big dogs done first. And then, you know, it's an avalanche. Once you've got the cheaper ones available to you, it's going to come a little bit quicker. And then you're working towards one of these um, as Mark McGuire is the AL and Sammy Sosa is the NL. If you complete both of those, you're getting the 99 Derek Jeter. Uh, and again, that's just going to cost a lot, but that's my goal. No money spent. It's going to take you a long time. The other thing, if you go over to set collections, here is the set one collections. Now, remember, like I said, set one is only able to be used in season one and season two. At season three, you're not going to be able to use these cards anymore, except for one. You get a wild card, so you can bring over, let's say, Mike Trout's 99. If you look over here, it's very expensive, uh, but if you are able to collect 260, you are going to be able to get all three of these, of Chipper Jones, 99 switch hitter, one of the best cards in the game, as well as this 99 Babe Ruth, who's literally 125 power all the way across the board, and Pedro Martinez, and great card art. Oh my god, I love it. Um, So the first one that you can get is at 140, and I'll just show you here. I've just done the World Baseball Classic. I haven't bought any other cards, and I have 26 already done. Done. At 30, you're going to get 2,500 stubs and 5,000 XP towards the actual program, the, the main program. We're going to talk about that in a second. At 75, you get this 99 Jazz Chisholm. And again, this is free. At 110, you get this Trey Turner. This Trey Turner card is incredible. Um, so if you can get that done, that's huge. And again, you're just getting these by uh, completing you know Team Affinity as well as the World Baseball Classic, things like that. I wouldn't go out and buy any cards to work towards it because, again, I would rather use my stubs on completing... Um, um, on completing the live series collection. So just have a focus on that. The last thing I want to talk about in this video of getting started, you should be well on your way now, is the season one reward path. You get XP by playing this game in any way, even road to the show, franchise mode, you will work on XP. But all the stuff that you are doing, the conquest, just playing the game, and the method that I kind of showed you, you are going to quickly get this XP done. Um, and obviously, as you go along, you'll get a lot of captains, you'll get a lot of these, these charisma cards, not the ones that are in the actual team affinity programs uh, like this 97 eric davis is actually pretty sick uh, and just slowly working towards that here are the bosses you will get a boss i think three of them throughout this program so you'll be able to get ricky henderson who has 99 speed all the way across the board you can get this munitaka murakami who's an unbelievable bat at third base so something to keep in mind here devin williams and bob gibson are also great pitchers as well but you can get these for free by just playing the game and using rewards so all right guys that is how i I would start and get after it in MLB The Show 23. I didn't even talk about storylines in the Negro Leagues. I'll talk about that in a future video, but I would complete that just for the sake of completing it because it's a really, really well done mode. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. I've played a little bit of it already. Um, if you go into it here, um, and again, you'll be able to see the storylines. There's eight that you can do. There's eight episodes that you can get done. And if you complete them all, you'll be able to get this 95 Buck O'Neill. And we haven't talked about Captain's 
happens a lot, but you can really power up all of these other cards by completing it. This Patchel Sage uh, for, or Satchel, Satchel, <laughs> Satchel Page, Patchel. This Satchel Page card is also an insane pitcher, um, just an unbelievable arm, so uh, that might be one to complete, but they don't go into any sets or anything like that, so I would recommend going towards all the other stuff because it's just better for your time, but these this is an incredible mode and really well done and put together, so I would recommend spending some time on it. It's about 30 minutes for each one and there are eight of them, so it will take some time. I would probably do that last if you're looking on maximizing time straight up. Um, so again, just something to keep in mind. But I hope this helps, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.